this revolution in Europe happens and they say that we have in, in Europe also under the church we've been emphasizing God we've been emphasizing the soul we've been emphasizing the afterlife but this life is horrible look at what the church has done all this time we've been thinking about God we were thinking about the wrong thing we should have focused our energies and thought and our intellect on the universe we should have been thinking not about God but about the physical universe okay if you're not gonna think about Allah you're not gonna think about God what's the next biggest thing <laughs> It's the physical universe. We should have exhausted ourselves trying to understand the physical universe. And actually, the little that we have tried to understand, it has brought about a lot of benefits. Like when you study the physical universe, which is basically science, right? When you study the physical universe, you get discovery. And what does discovery do? It makes the world a better place. It brings about kinds of different kinds of invention different kinds of utility. You cannot have that unless you study the physical material universe. So they say people that have been studying God, look what they've produced. And the people that study the universe, look what amazing things they're starting to produce. Look at the machinery we're able to build. Look at the advances in architecture. So we need to put our energies and our attention on the physical universe as opposed to what? God. What was the second emphasis? I ask you again just to check if you're alive. The soul. What is this soul? Has anybody even seen it? Can you even tell where it is? We're so worried about the soul, but what about all the diseases in the world? What about better nutrition? What about this physical body? So the emphasis needs to be shifted from studying the soul to studying the body. So look at the last few centuries. Has the human body been studied more than ever before in human history? Absolutely. Has the physical universe been explored? Materials on this earth? and beyond ever before than human history absolutely so God got replaced by the universe and the soul got replaced by the body intellectually speaking so the highest learners of a society used to learn about God and they used to learn about the soul and now the highest learners of society are PhDs in science or medical medicine right they're the highest intellectuals what was the third one it was God soul and what else Huh? Afterlife. Life will be good in heaven. Life will be good. You suffer here and it will be good in heaven. What do the Europeans say? <laughs> We're tired of this. We don't want the life in... I don't even know if there is one. We need to emphasize the life of this world. Let's see how we can make this life better. Let's explore political science. Let's explore sociology. Let's explore anthropology. Let's explore public relations. You know, let's explore all of these humanitarian hu or human sciences that can make society a better place so we can govern ourselves and live better. And by the way, the more they studied these things, the more they studied, you know, uh, urban development, the more they studied political science, the more they studied sociology, the more they even studied psychology. Did it have a positive impact, visible positive impact uh, in Europe? It did. Roads started getting built, buildings started coming up, trade started expanding, inventions started coming up. As a matter of fact, before the United States, what was the leading nation, uh, nation, where were the leading nations of the world that everybody was envying? It was Europe. And they didn't obviously keep themselves to that, you know, that patch. They wanted to bring, as a result of this, they wanted to expand these ideas all over the world and expand for greedy reasons all over the planet. So actually most of us, the Muslims today, most of us have, our ancestors have tasted European colonization. Most of us. We have had the taste of it. And as a matter of fact, you know what that means? Our ancestry has people that directly received a European format of education. And as a matter of fact, in countries like Pakistan and India and Algeria, you go all over the Muslim world, you will, you will find the public school system and the educational curricula that they use to this day are actually directly influenced by the French and the British and whatever they left behind. It's still there. It's still there. You know, it hasn't gone anywhere. Now, I share all of this with you because in the, in the middle of all of this, when people said, well, what about Iman? What about faith? What about God? 
people said basically their uh, arguments started happening there is no god there is no religion it's all man made etc etc so there were a bunch of people in europe that became atheists this year i had an opportunity to go to switzerland which is a very conservative society they are extremely cautious of preserving their churches from 400 500 years ago no one goes to church but the church bu building is perfectly intact like they love the history of it but they want nothing to do with the religion I actually surveyed people around, are you, are you religious? No, I don't believe in religion. I don't believe in religion. But they, hear the, they hear, still hear the church bells. They still hear the church bells, just because they want to preserve history. So it's this empty history. I'll give you another example. In New York City, you know, one of the earliest churches built in New York City was on 21st Street and 6th Avenue, or Park Avenue rather. It is a, it's, it's, a, it's a historic site. So the government or the, the state government has de declared it a historical monument so you can't tear it down. So in the middle of all these modern buildings, there's like a 200-year-old church, Catholic church. But nobody goes to that church, so they turned it into a nightclub. It's actually a nightclub now, but the building is intact exactly as it was, a historic site. I was walking by, I used to walk by that church every day to college, and I'm walking by and it says, ladies free drinks on Thursday night. And they're like, what kind of church is this? You know, what denomination of Christianity? <laughs> you know, holy water on Thursday night? What is, I mean, I don't know. What, what is this? But anyway, so I'm painting this scene for a reason. We today, in 2014, all over the world, whether we like it or not, we of course are believers in Allah, believers in the Akhirah, believers in the Ruh, believers in the Qalb. We want to protect the integrity of our heart. We want to cleanse our heart from diseases. All this conversation is really about what you can philosophically call the soul, even though it's not the best term within Islam. But you know what? European, this, this new European thought that took all over all over the world, it didn't say you don't have to believe in God. It didn't say that. It basically said you could if you want to, it's fine. You could believe in an afterlife, that's, that's your right. If you want to believe it, it's fine. Keep it to yourself. That's fine. You don't have to believe, you don't have to let go of your belief in heaven. I think it's stupid, but you can believe in it if you want. It's fine. That's cool. But what they said is something far more dangerous. They didn't say we don't, we don't, we disagree with you. They said it doesn't matter. They said it doesn't matter. Whether you believe in God or not, who cares? Science is real. Whether you believe in God or not, medicine is real. Whether you believe in a soul or not. Whether you believe in heaven or not, politics is real. Economics is real. So let's worry about the real world.